everybody, it's Annie Lou. How are you? I finally got my 2019 Art Snacks Travel Kit. And it came yesterday. I was hoping to get it sooner than yesterday because others did, but I have it here. So let's take a peek and see what's inside. This is my absolute most favorite color, the turquoise. So let's take a peek inside. I am already loving this case, not only because of the color, but because it has two zippers. It has a zipper on each end. This really makes a difference. I just got a bag and it only had one zipper that goes all the way around. It was rather annoying. I don't know. So I like this. So here we go. Let's see what's inside. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, a travel collection featuring a Zig. So we got a bunch of stickers from Zig. So the first thing I am going to take out of here and look, it fits right in here in this elastic section. And this looks like it says a travel collection special edition. I, I know what this is already. They're watercolors. One person posted, who did an unboxing. This is quite lovely. Okay, so it has a turquoise, a different color turquoise than this, but a turquoise nonetheless. A dark green, I'm not sure if that's black, a red, and a gold. So in here, is a Zig, oh boy, Mangaka. I don't know how to pronounce some of these things. Flux. Okay. So if you press hard, you'll get a thick line. And if you just come up on the tip, you'll get a nice fine line. So thick line, fine line. I do not know if this is waterproof, and I always like to know if whether or not things are going to react and move when you have water on them, so let me get a paintbrush. So I have a paintbrush from my stash. I have some water, and I want to see if this moves. I don't think it does. Nope. It's staying put, and that is good to know. It's permanent, not moving one little bit. So the travel case is retail $24.99, and that sounds very reasonable because um, I have purchased cases like this, and they're up there because they're well made and the zippers, and just that's just the way it is. So now we have the um, Tambi watercolor set. There are the six watercolors and also these are included in the kit. So we found out that the pen is permanent. Very good. Now this is a water brush. So I was able to get some water in there. These are great when you're traveling because then you do not have to worry about water. So I like to wet my watercolors before I um, get going with it. I need to find a spritzer. So here is the spritzer and, um, oh, these are pans with a bubble wrap on the bottom. I don't want to get the, um, the container wet, so I'm going to take these out, spritz my watercolors, and now let's test the waters. So let's do this color first. Doesn't really tell me what colors they are. It's a good color. It's a good watercolor pen too. And this looks like a black. Oh, it's not. Looks are deceiving. It's a dark blue. Let's go for the gold. Oh, it's a nice gold.
Very nice. Oh, this looks like a nice lipstick color, doesn't it? The red. Not the best lips in the world, but they're okay. And nice, very nice. Okay, it's light green. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. And the dark green, it's like a, a Christmas green. It's a tree out in the forest, and we'll give it a stump. Very good. Okay, so those are the watercolors. So now the next thing that I am seeing in here is a pencil, a Durwent graphic pencil. What is it? An HB. So that's always good to have in a kit. The idea of a travel kit is to have it packed all the time and ready for travel. Okay. The next thing is, oh, Coco, I don't know. C-O-C-O-I-R-O -O -O from Japan. So it looks like a water brush, but maybe not. I don't know. Let's see what it is. Okay, it's a letter pen. How does this work? Oh. Oh, oh, it's really nice and fine. Oh, I like it. And you know what? If I'm holding it straight up and down, I get a really fine line. And if I apply just a little bit of pressure, it'll get a little thicker. So the question is, is this waterproof? Oh, and it is not. See, it's good to know what is and what isn't. So it does bleed. So you know not to use this with watercolors or anything wet because it will move. It's a water-based black ink extra fine brush tip, but is compatible with a variety of colorful refills. So they all come different. Mine has little hedgehogs on it. Okay, I do like this. And I guess the refills, you can get refills for it. And the next thing is Cura. I don't know how to say these words. I don't know how to pronounce things. Oh, nice colors. A staff favorite. So you get four pens in here, and they're like food pens, F U D E. So here is a green. It's very nice. And if you hold straight up and down, you'll get a nice fine line. Is it waterproof? I don't think they are. I'm gonna say no. You know, it, it does move, but not, well, it does move. Sometimes when you have things that move, if you heat set them, like get your um your heat gun and give it a hit of heat, usually that sets it in and you're all set. So that's the green, here's the brown. It's a different shade. The brown is different from the watercolor brown. And then we have the blue. And the blue is different than the watercolor blue. That's good. And then we have black. All right, I like those. They have a nice, nice firm nib. 17.78. Isn't that an odd amount? 17.78. So the next thing that is in here is a brush writer. This is in green. So usually what you would do is just press. I don't know if there's something blocking. 
Okay, so I removed this yellow safety thing, I guess, and I'm squeezing and the pink is starting to get, there you go, Woo! a light touch. There you go. Can go into this tree and do some some shading, I guess, right? Very nice. I like this. I don't I have the water brushes, but I don't have any that already has the ink in it. So I am thinking it is not a good idea to undo this now to put this back on. No. That is something that protects the packaging, you know, in transit. And the last thing in here is paper. It is 20 sheets of a four by six water, absorbs water well and allows for watercolors to blend and blur together. So it is a high quality drawing paper with multi purposes. Oh my word, they're postcards. So there's 20 sheets and um, I can't remember the last time I sent a postcard or got a postcard. You just don't do that anymore when you're on vacation. Remember before you went on vacation you used to go to the post office and, and get stamps, postcard stamps so that you could write little messages home. But we don't do that anymore because of the internet. Um, you could actually go and sketch something on vacation and then mail it home. I really don't want to mess up one of these. I just don't. I want to keep it for a project. So there you go. I'm sure it it's wonderful. I'm sure it's just wonderful. So, I really like all the new things that I got. Um, it's almost beach time. I always take stuff with me to the beach. So, this is my beach to go. And look at, I already got paint on it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I already baptized it. And there are these little pouches on the inside, so we got a candy, Extreme Sour Blue Raspberry. Oh, and a sticker. A sticker with Japanese writing on it. Well, thank you for joining me. Things look a little messy here, but that gold dries with a beautiful shimmer. I know you have other places that you could be, so I do appreciate the time you took to sit with me for a little while here in my slash dining room table studio. Please subscribe and like, and I would appreciate that. And I'm going to say bye-bye and thank you very much.